Hello everyone and welcome back to another Maricella's video. This is really weird because I'm not used to using face cam or camera and to be honest the only reason why I'm actually using it is because I'm going traveling in a month. So for that reason alone I want to use the camera, I want to give it a go and it's a chance for you guys to see my ugly mug. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, it's not really needed for a bug battle video because I'm just going to be showing you the bugs anyway, but my face is going to be in the corner reacting to it and talking you through it. So first up, we have Chorizo Charlie who wants to see one of every infected insect against five of the beefy ant lions and, of course, the strongest enemy in the game, the aphids. So I've got the five ant lions spaced out fairly well. I'm going to add in the aphid quickly. Why are you attacking him? You don't need to know. <laughs> Why have you attacked him? You're telling me five of you need to attack this poor little aphid. He's gonna have a tough time in this fight. I'll spawn him in. I'll spawn him in after the infected insects. Here we go. All the infecteds are in. I don't know why there are two infected ladybugs, but there you go. And there are two infected larvas. I only spawned in one of them. Uh, I mean, most of them are dead already. The mites, the larvas, the gnats. They're all dead. The ladybugs are all dead. And he's dead. They literally did not last a chat. Oh, hold on. One sec. I almost forgot. Go get him. Go get him, soldier. Oh. <laughs> they didn't even attack him. The scream. The scream was enough to kill him. If you're good, I'm good. I love you. I love you. Next up, we have this guy. I'm not going to try and pronounce your name because I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong. And he wants to see 10 pit ant lions against two brood mothers and three black ox beetles. Right, get ready for this shit because this is about to get absolutely crazy. As you can see, I've built a little ring of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm about to spawn in the brood mother and the black ox beetles. But I can only really see this going one way. But I'm going to do it anyway. Right, here we go. Fucking Christ. They're getting absolutely pelted. One of them's dead already. The black ox is dead. That black ox is dead. That black ox is dead. The black oxes are out of the fight. And these brood mothers are just getting <laughs> thrown around everywhere. There is no way they're winning this. And no arena I could build is going to maintain the fucking damage that <laughs> these bit ant lines are doing. Look at them. They can't even get a hit in. They're just getting sucked in, thrown around everywhere. Oh, so much sucking. Oh, yes. Well, that one's dead, unsurprisingly, and that one's dead. There you go, your tiny little sandstorm has paid off because these beefy antlions have taken the win. Now, next up, we have a potato, but not just any potato. This is Average Potato, who wants 10 Black Ops Beetles against the assistant manager. I think I might have made the arena a bit too small. I really hope he doesn't fall out. Please don't die. Get back in the arena. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah, get him, little shit. Fucking hell, this is laggy. No! No! My arena! What's happened? What is going on? I mean, well, there's, there's the assistant manager anyway. I was wondering what happened. It sort of like froze my game. Uh, I'm not really sure what's happened. I imagine you guys aren't really sure what happened either because that was just a fuck fest. Um, but the result is there is a dead assistant manager and a shit ton of black hawks beetles so i get i'm i'm guessing they're the winner of that moving on to xxx weird xxx i think you should do a roly poly versus 15 tazy t's and also how hard is it to do that high-pitched voice it's very hard but it hurts after a while but it's kind of fun and i kind of like it again please don't crash my jesus christ what the hell how many he, he took out te come back <laughs> please come back please move away from the edge don't do it you have your whole life ahead of you christ he's an animal i mean there's no point in him even going into debug cam for this one he's just fucked him up he killed 10 he killed 10 in one go <laughs> Okay, he did not last very long at all. He is dead. All 15 are dead. And all right, all right, mate. You've destroyed it. You Fucking hell, you've already killed them. You don't need to ruin my fucking arena. What have you done to it? I've built this amazing little floating arena here. I mean, amazing is an overstatement, but I built it myself. And this twat is just fucking destroying it. You know what? Fuck you, you piece of shit. Hey! 
Who's the real winner? Who is the real winner? Me. I mean, he's not dead. He's still alive down there, but, but he's down there and I'm up here. So Liam wins again. Now, next up, we have Bakakan or Bakachan who wants a battle against the originals. They want free stink bugs, free wolfies, free bombardiers, and free ladybugs. It's just a sync up. This camera's awesome. It like... <laughs> it follows me around. That's crazy. Uh, anyway, sorry. Back into... Back into grounded. <laughs> right, here we go. Um, this is probably going to be a really bad idea because considering this is very breakable. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway, and it's pretty small. All right, here we go. Hopefully they don't fall out of the arena. Woohoo! No, that's how- oh, Jesus Christ, get down! Right, there you go. There's free of everything. I kind of assumed the stink bugs would be doing this and just completely gas everyone out and ruin the viewing experience. Uh, the wolf spiders seem to be getting in some decent hits. I say that again, I cannot see a thing. Yeah, they killed one. Thank Christ, they killed one. Uh, I think the bombardiers are all dead already, to be honest. Yep, all the bombardiers are dead. All that is left is a stink bug and three wall spiders and a ladybird. One of them's dead, one of them's dead. Oh, he's bringing it back. He's bringing it back. Come on, ladybird, you could do it. I believe in you. You've got this. The fucking ladybird did it. That was 100% the ladybird. What the fuck? No way! Out of all of that, the ladybird won. How is that possible? Oh, that was good. Good suggestion. That that was that was a good one. But there you go. There you have it. The ladybird wins. Now, last up, we have a very weird, but I kind of like it, request from the visitor who wants 15 aphids against 10 infected weevils with a destructible floor. So I'm guessing they're going to blow up and they're going to fall through the floor. All the aphids are going to run away and they're going to win because the weevils are going to die. Something weird like that, but we're going to do it anyway. See how well this goes. 10 versus 15, they're running. They're, don't come over by me! Why are you coming over here? Congratulations. He's dead, they're blowing up. If I put some mites in there. Just cause the mites get it. They're dead already. They're dead. Oh. <laughs> it only took one. One explosion to kill five aphids, what the hell? I mean, that explosion killed that aphid. But uh, that mite's dead anyway. The mites didn't really do anything, and these aphids are still alive, and the infected weevils are dead. So I'm guessing they've all exploded or just disappeared somewhere. Um, but yeah, the aphids won. I mean, they didn't really do anything. They just sort of <laughs> ran away, but they won anyway. And unfortunately, I did it with stem. If I did, if I done it with grass, maybe they would have fallen through the floor, but unfortunately, no. And last up, we have a request from yours truly, me, because I have found a brand new swimming insect and it's been in the game the whole time and it comes in the form of an infected mite. That's right, they can swim. Who would have guessed that infected mite can swim? It's crazy, I know. Yeah, I kind of just spawned them in and for some reason they didn't drown and they started attacking stuff. So I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna spawn these in and put them against some water spiders. So I'm gonna do a 10v10 and see how that pans out. I hope you enjoy it. See what I mean? Look, I've given them a little bowl of water here and they just swim. They don't die. I'm not sure if that's because they're infected or what, but they just do not die. Look at them, they're loving it. Right, I'm gonna spawn the diving bell spiders in here. I'll probably do like five. It'll probably make it a bit more fair. There we go. Now they're attacking. Oh, don't destroy the floor, please, because they'll just sink to the bottom. Look at this. Who would have guessed? Brand new, brand new swimming insects. Oh no, they destroyed the bottom. I mean, they're getting absolutely ruined. Look at him, see, he's just swimming away. <laughs> Oh, they're out of there. They don't want anything to do with this. If they leave, that's forfeit. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> it's amazing. Look at this. They're taking it to the open waters. Even in the water, you're not safe from infected mites. Oh, he's dead. I mean, there you go. I'm not really sure who won that, to be honest. I'm guessing it's the diving bell spiders because there are a lot of floating dead infected mites. Oh no, there's still a few. There's a few infected. This wasn't really a fight to see who would win, although I'm pretty sure it's the Diving Bell Spider. This is more just to showcase the fact that the infected might swim somehow, and I'm not sure how. They just do. I'm not sure if any other infected insects swim. Probably. Some might, some might not. But there you go. The new, the brand new swimming insect. There you have it. An exclusive. Look at him go. Look at him hump that wall. Oh yeah. 